In this example, we need to find the uh, determinant of the following matrix that you see there using row operations. So we're going to do this by, um, so using row operations, we can we can take this matrix and put it into upper tri uh, sorry, into upper yeah upper triangular form. And then from there, once we have an upper triangular form, then we can take and multiply the uh, entries along the main diagonal. And then we can kind of backtrack and use look at the op, look at the row operations that we used, and then use those to come up with the uh, determinant of this matrix A. Okay, so first thing is to I want to divide um, the first row by three. Okay, so that's going to be one third times row one. And then store that result in row one. So we're going to get one, one, negative one. And then we get three, four, negative four, two, negative three, negative five. Okay. So now I want to take, okay, I'm going to have minus three times row one and add it to row two. So then we get one, one, negative one. This will be uh, zero. One, and then you have, right, so Minus three plus three zero minus three plus four be one and then minus three times negative one is three and then minus four which will give us negative one okay and then we have for the last row we have two minus three negative five okay so now I want to make this uh, make this two zero so we're going to take minus two times row one and add it to row three and then store that result in row three. So we get one, one, negative one, Oops. zero, sorry, uh, zero, one, negative one, and then <clears throat> this will be zero. And then so minus 2 plus 2 is 0, minus 2 minus 3 will be negative 5. And then negative 2 and times negative 1 will be 2, uh, minus 5 will be negative 3. Okay. So from there, okay, I want to get, uh, now I want to make this negative 5, 0. So we're going to take 5 times row 2, store that result, sorry, uh, 5 times row 2, Add it to row two and store that result in row three. See, uh, said that wrong. So that's going to be sorry, row three. Okay, so five times row two, add it to row three and store that result in row three. Okay. All right. So then this is going to give us one one negative one zero one negative one. 0, 0, okay, and then 5, negative, so 5 times negative 1 will be minus 5, minus 3, that will give us negative 8, okay. All right, so let's call this matrix B, okay. So we have that the determinant, so the determinant of B is just going to be uh, these, right, we're going to multiply these entries. So that's going to give us negative 8, okay. So we want the determinant of A, not B, okay? So these, this row operation, this row operation, and this row operation doesn't change the original, uh, doesn't change the original determinant. However, this one does, okay? So that was property three, uh, using property three of the, uh, of, for, the, uh, for the properties that we talked about last time. If you recall, Okay, the determinant, okay, so the determinant of A
is going to be equal to 1 over k times the determinant of b. Okay. So therefore, okay, for the determinant of a, it's going to be, right, you have 1 over k times the determinant of b. So therefore, in this case, k, in this case, k is equal to 1 third. Okay. So it's going to be 1 over k. So this will be 3. Okay, so it'll be 3 times uh, negative 8. And so that's going to give us negative 4. I'm sorry, negative 24. Okay. okay.